99.5 WKDQ, today's best country. Eric Cornish here with your afternoon show. And we are getting closer and closer to CountryCon, which happens on September the 12th. It's brought to you by A1 Power Equipment. Uh, we've got over 50 new country artists that are going to be there to meet you, to play for you. Uh, and uh, and we'll just have a good time if you're a country music fan, and I hope you are. And here is one of the artists that's going to be there. It's Miss Olivia Lane on the phone. Hey, how are you? I'm fabulous. How are you? Doing good. Looking forward to having you there because right now, and I was looking at this list of artists that are that are coming. You have actually got the uh, the best chart success right now of any of the artists that are coming. With you, got a song that's that's climbing the charts right now. Oh, that's freaking amazing. That I'm is so amazing. Excited. I'm excited just to get out there and meet fans. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited to have you there. And, uh, of course, we'll have the little acoustic shows on two different stages with more music that we've got. And uh, and you'll play a little bit for us, too. So that's exciting. So uh, so when you're there, what, what are you planning on doing? You're going to have some stuff that they can, uh, some merch that they can pick up or just, just going to take some pictures and say hi? Oh, yeah. I am all about taking pictures after the show. After the show, I always go straight to the merch booth, and we actually have, like, this really funny cardboard cutout of myself, so it's kind of like my You Part 2. We're starting to joke, because that's the name of the single. Right, um, yeah. But my, my cardboard cutout holds out bracelets and picks. You can come by the merch table, take some free bracelets and free picks, and buy an album, so it's, it's going to be really fun. All right. That's going to be cool. I can't wait. So let's talk about you a little bit in your background. So you are a Texas girl, correct? I am from Houston, Texas. Very cool. Now, growing up, what kind of uh, what kind of influences brought you to? Uh, obviously, you definitely have a very country style. Uh, was yes, there anything? Uh, who who in country was influencing you? Yeah, well, I think it all starts with my mom. Honestly, she was a Texas regional country singer when she was my age. So she kind of saw this musical tendency in me, and she was like, oh, my gosh, I need to start buying this child music, and I need to start putting her in lessons, guitar lessons, vocal lessons, anything she could do to put me in these, you know, in the spotlight and, and start to sort of hone my entertainment-ness. Um, <laughs> she did it. I mean, she would buy me all of the big female voices of country music like Reba and Trisha and Patsy because those were the females that she was listening to. So I just started to emulate those, and, and basically she's just been my rock. Very cool. So outside of, of country, is there anything else that you were listening to growing up? Oh, I mean, I'm a millennial, so <laughs> I've, I've listened to everything pretty much my entire life. I mean, everything from Frank Sinatra to Snoop Dogg to, you know, I mean, to Michael Jackson. I mean, she was really, she was, she really would buy me, you know, tapes of, of great artists like Frank and like Michael Jackson and just expose me to everything possible. But, you know, as I grow, as I grew up, I, I realized that all of my favorite instruments that I loved were from country music. I mean, I love the mandolin. I love the banjo. I love the steel guitar. So it really made sense, you know, for me to pursue country music. Yeah, and I, I've got to say, especially the new single, which we'll play here in just a little bit, uh, it's it's so much the best of both worlds because, you know, a lot of a lot of people say what they want about country music. It's evolving. It changes, and, and that's fine. Um, you yeah. know, so it does have a little bit of a pop sound to it these days, but what was a pop sound, you know, now uh, and what was right. a pop sound 10 years ago and 20 years ago, totally different. But your single, it, it's got that sound, but... At, at its core, is still a very, very country-sounding single, if you know what I mean. Absolutely. And I think, honestly, like, to me, my definition of country music is a story. Yeah. A story is being told, regardless if it's in the past or the present. And there's a clear story of a girl who has been uh, jaded one too many times by a relationship, so she's over it. You know, and, and the music video has a clear story, too. So there's definitely, you know, my mandolin and my banjo are in that mix. And it, is, it does have a pop sensibility to it, but I think that's just my influences. Because I've been influenced sure. by everything. Sure, but I, I mean, the, your voice—I don't—I don't think your voice could could cross over. I think you're a country artist, no matter what. And don't take offense well, to that. Thank but, you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Some people might take offense to it. I I see that as a good thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know. Me too. I, I mean, the country lock style is my thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I can't wait uh, to see you at Country Con again. That is going to be in Owensboro. That is September the 12th at the convention center. Uh, it's 10 until 7. So uh, Olivia will be there at the, at the booth. She'll be saying hi to you, and you'll even get a chance to see her perform. So uh, very, very excited. And uh, what do you say? Let's play this single that's just climbing the charts right now, Olivia. Let's do it. All right. This is the one she was talking about, You Part 2. Olivia, we'll see you September the 12th.